In this video, I'm sharing the seven best side hustles that you can start right now with little to no money or special training. Each idea you can get started with as quickly as today and start making money ASAP. Plus, what I really love about this list is none of these will require you to compromise your day job or give up all of your free time. And no, I'm not about to tell you to do a one hour survey to make 40 cents. Ain't nobody got time for that. And if anyone told you to do that, unfollow them because they're giving terrible advice and follow me. This is Millennial Money in Business. We share the tools to help you escape your nine to five with confidence every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please do me a favor, hit like and subscribe. It tells the algorithm to show our video to more people and it gets us that much closer to hitting our goal of becoming the first woman-led business channel with more than one million subscribers. I love a good side hustle. In fact, I start most of my businesses as side hustles, which gives me the opportunity to keep holding onto my main source of income when I experiment with this new side business. Find out what works and scale it up. And that is what I recommend you do. While we are sharing tips to help you escape your nine to five with confidence, we would never ever in a million years tell you to quit your day job without you having a solid secondary source of income to sustain yourself and the people that depend on you. That would be totally irresponsible. So instead, we're starting here with a side hustle. And special shout out to Lena Lore for inspiring this video. 2020 side hustle number one, virtual assistant. This has made the biggest difference in every single one of my businesses. Having an assistant to help with the tedious and repetitive tasks that come with running a business. Like Sylvia. I like to rub her feet, wash the dishes, and walk around shirtless. Yes, he does. Except virtual assistants work from home. You give them tasks you need completed, and they do them. It really is that simple. And because I know how valuable they are for any startup or full-fledged business, I know there is a huge demand for talented and dedicated virtual assistants. I'm a fan of using Upwork. You can list yourself on the site for 15 plus dollars per hour. There are some people charging 50 plus dollars an hour and you don't need a special degree or any special training to get approved. Number two, social media manager. If you have decent experience with social media and of course you do, it is 2020, you can offer up your services as a social media manager. Now, I, I know you hear the title and think that you need some sort of special training, but trust me, you don't. We've hired several people to help with our social media that didn't have any special training, but they did show an understanding of each platform and a willingness to learn and grow. And that was it. What these companies are looking for is typically someone that can understand the message they're trying to convey with their brand, source images that complement that message, Write out captions, include strategic hashtags, and schedule posts. That's the task at the most basic level. And while it is something a business or solopreneur can do themselves, that's four to 10 hours plus each week, depending on how often you're posting, that you'd be giving them back so that they can focus on growing the actual business. Now, if you'd like me to do a video where I go, really high level in regards to social media, marketing, and strategy, I'd be more than happy to do it. Just hop down in the comment section and drop a dollar sign or money bag enough and I'll make it rain, okay? Number three is easily one of my favorites. The third best side hustle for 2020, create a course, think you think. Udemy, and I'm sure there are literally dozens of other sites like these, but each of these sites allows you to relatively easily create a course on any subject and get paid from it. I have two courses up on Thinkific. One is a green business masterclass for $2,000 a pop, and the other is a hair business masterclass for $9.97. Both are linked down in, in the description. Because I took the time to put what was in my head from my own experience into a course, I make 
thousands of dollars in actual true passive income. Meaning I don't even mention them in videos. I just include a link in the description and when people purchase, I get a notification that I just got paid. Friday in sync fans, party hopping. Oh, oh, feeling right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> feeling a little carried away with it. So yeah, of course, you can make it on any topic you feel like you know, and then all you gotta do is market it to the people willing to pay for it. Love that one. Very few passive income things are actually passive income. That is passive income. Number four, side hustle for 2020, sell services on Fiverr and Upwork. We've already talked about virtual assistants. Well, Upwork is actually a marketplace where you can sell any service, not just the assistant stuff, whether it's graphic design, search engine optimization, international product sourcing, literally any and every kind of service is listed there. And on Fiverr, you can list any service you'd like to offer there too. And if you're thinking you don't have a skill, just look at the number of times this person has been paid to stand in front of a camera and read testimonials. Can you stand in front of a camera and read? Yes, you can. Can you do a good deed and take a pic of it? You, you can do that. Can you wear a bunch of keychains and talk like Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> well, then you got to side hustle. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know what he said. Well, then you got to side hustle there, right? That's not him. Um, that, I'm sure, is not how Jack Sparrow talks. But, um, but all these people are getting paid to do all of that stuff, as you can see on your screen. Number five is something I've told you time and time again is something everyone should do. It's a great way to market yourself as a brand or any business or service that you want to offer and you can get paid from the platform for doing it. Anyone know what that is? YouTube! On YouTube, creators get paid from AdSense, which may not be much to begin with, but I'd still rather get paid a little bit of money versus none at all for me to market my business. It's usually just money going out, this is money coming back your way. Then the bigger your channel or platform grows, the more it pays you and you get more opportunities to collaborate with brands that want access to the people that consume your content. And if you have an audience, you can always create a product down the line and sell it to them. I love how Minority Mindset broke it down in this video. And you can find the link below to watch the whole thing. Let's say you have 10,000 people who watch your videos and out of these 10,000 people, just 100 of them buy a $10 product. That is $1,000 worth of revenue from just one video to an audience of 10,000 people. Number six, sell hair extensions with white label extensions as your drop shipping partner. Shameless plug, yes. Do I need it though? Oh yeah. Six is technically start a drop shipping store. So if you're not really into the hair stuff, then you know, but if you are considering it. So why not use the business I created for new entrepreneurs as the perfect example? If you aren't familiar, drop shipping is a business model where you just basically act as the middleman between a product manufacturer or distributor like white label extensions and the customer. And your only job is marketing. The thing that makes this a super dope option is the fact that you don't have to stock up on any inventory. You don't have to deal with the manufacturing process. You literally just pick a product that someone is willing to drop ship for you. You market and advertise the product. And when you get a sale, you contact your drop shipper and they ship it directly to your customer for you. If the process is working right, you don't even physically touch or see the product. It all happens seamlessly. This is literally one of my favorite business models as long as you have the order fulfillment process automated, which is way easier than it sounds. This model is totally scalable. Love that! Number seven, print on demand. This is similar to drop shipping in that you don't have to hold any inventory or handle fulfillment. All you do is design an item on a website like Teespring or Printful market it and cash in when it sells. This can be especially profitable if you can make merch that speaks to a specific and underserved niche. 
Now, some honorary mentions because I don't want to drag this out and I'm sure you guys don't need me to explain everything, but here we go. Rideshare, got a car and a decent driving record. I don't, the driving record, and, and I hate driving. But if you don't mind, you definitely sign up. I mean, I think I met one of my last Uber drivers that was like, yeah, whenever I'm leaving work, I just turn on the, the Uber thingy and I, and I get paid to drive myself home. That is really, really smart. You could do the same. Another one, flipping stuff, buying stuff for the low and selling it for more online or wherever. Airbnb, got extra space, got an empty hallway, that could be a check. And you can tutor someone on a topic that you know. And last but certainly not least, get a part-time regular regular job that you can work outside of your hours. Because if you're willing to work those extra hours and then pour money into your side hustle, that will fast track your growth. Um, of course, growing this channel to 1 million subs is our only goal this year. Why? Because representation matters and there are a million guys with a million followers that talk about business and there isn't a single channel where women talk about business that has more than a million subs. Not a single one. Not making that up. So I've said it before, plan on saying it until we hit the goal. So go ahead and subscribe if you're tired of hearing this. But it's important that these little girls that only watch YouTube, which is like all little girls, see themselves represented in these bossy positions so they can know that that's like a real reality for them. You know that. So subscribe, help us get to that goal. And in the next video, I'm gonna share the top three marketing strategies for small businesses in 2020 that no one else is sharing. Each of these will help you increase your brand awareness, increase sales, and increase your bottom line.